Shalom guys, I hope that you are doing fabulous. Thanks for joining for a, another general reading. So I just did a real lovely reading and it was beautiful energy and so uh, I'll share it in the comment section below. So those of you who are returning, welcome back. Those of you who are upright in your heart, thank you for being that way. It is so much appreciated. I know everybody who is upright in heart appreciates one another for being that way in the earth. And so I just I just like to say it to everyone and so that we would encourage one another to keep going in that fashion in the earth. Thank you. I appreciate you all. Uh, those of you who are first time ever hearing my voice, my name is Shannon. I'm glad to have you. My channel is very intense. We don't hold back. I'm not church or religious. I'm just spiritual like you. I'm free spiritual. I'm for the truth. And if the truth is in you, then the truth is in you through and through. And because the root of your tree is made with the truth. And so uh, you just walk that way and you talk that way. <laughs> and anyway, I, but I do uh, love Jehovah Elohim, maker of heaven and earth. And sometimes he does a strange work in his earth and uh, he's just beautiful energy. I do keep covenant with him and uh, I just believe in loving him with all my heart, with all my strength. His covenant is writ up, written upon my heart and um Anyway, I, I, I love him, and he is my Yeshua, my salvation. I kiss his son, and because uh, if we don't do that, he, he's mad at us, is what the scripture says. But anyway, if you stay on my channel, then you stay on my channel. Just understand that you will hear information sometimes that's disturbing because we uproot criminal activity here and we look at it from a spiritual point of view before it even tries to come up in this realm and uh, we stop it in its tracks. Some people have already experienced it and then they're, they're dealing with the after effects from it. And so we like to also look at something and you'll always show you something, how something could be because of what somebody else has went through as well. So we just look at everything and we just don't hold back. Okay. And it's all for uprightness sake uh to have a better world and all of that if it's your birthday happy birthday if it's your anniversary happy anniversary to y'all and those of you who are down and out i send you love and light it's gonna be okay just keep on moving just keep on marching it, it'll be okay you'll have to just send your holy spirit right now to be the lifter of their head what do you want to bring out here you have what do you want to talk about you have a rebuke and bind and block every foul wicked dark energy right here right now and shove it down to the pit if you are new i use all kinds of stuff in my readings homemade decks the room uh, I just don't put spirit in a box because we never could and we use the Hebraic living languages which is in the tarot the scriptures here if you didn't know it is and a lot of people know that a lot of people don't um, so I will give definitions of what the cards mean and offset of that whatever's come through my spirit and uh, by the Hebraic meaning as well we have the Queen of Cups she came out today with the King of Cups so this could be somebody trying to heal something. This could be a nurse. This could be your mother. This could be your grandparent. It could be you. Uh, it could be just something emotional. It could be manipulation. It could be just somebody just tapping into their intuition. It could be love at its finest, depending on uh, who you are and what you do. The hermit is here. Somebody really going within, trying to tap into their intuition. Um, this is somebody who might just be dis uh, in disguise around you. About There's the king of cups again coming out so something's huge here this twice then it's come out and it was in a totally different deck that i use um or did i use this deck anyway they came out no i did use a different deck and they came out so they're coming out again something, something with this watery stuff is here so if you are new this is the tet in the hebrew it's the snake in the basket and oftentimes you'll see the hermit holding a snake for wisdom's sake because he can grab that little nasty thing something got dirty and filthy within something that has been profaned for some people because we've been following up for a while this could be a counselor if somebody has been secret around you try to catch somebody up and two people here are at their highest vibration but they're in the negative within that dirty filthy mess uh, that's high volume and manipulation and that ain't good that ain't good if that's upright then that's beautiful like we stated earlier if one is upright and one's not and somebody's got some wisdom here or, or going within and analyzing how somebody's emotions are or, or whatever then the hermit is here um, there's a, just be a judge, a lawyer, uh, this could be dealing with your taxes or whatever this is. There's somebody just analyzing something that's very emotional then. Um, messages, children could be here between some type of situation. Show me this Queen of Cups. What is this? 
what is this Queen of Cups here? This could be the law, but those could represent the law, obviously. We, we had law enforcement stuff that came out. Well, we got a lot of people coming out on this Queen of Cups. So somebody caused some type of ruckus? I guess they did with a bunch of people, or there's just some type of uh, situation. I had to pause my camera camera for a second. Um, so there's a bunch of people here. If this isn't a bunch of people, this is just uh, internal stuff. But the Five of Wands normally is some type of uh, some type of competition-like energy. This strife here around this Queen Queen of Cups, around a love or a mother or a father situation or so, what is this Five of, five of Wands here? Could be your family having a ruckus. There's just a riot here around this energy. And there was there was legal matters in jail and stuff like that coming out on that reading that we looked at earlier with these two energies, these two people. What is this five of wands? So there's a bunch of people here then involved in some stuff for a lot of people. What is this five of wands, please? You hold on, what do you want to bring out? So, another cup card. And we just seen the five of, uh, excuse me, I'm having a hard time speaking with you all. We just seen uh, at the bottom of the deck, or what flipped over a second ago, was the uh, page of wands. If this somebody got manipulated, or manipulated a bunch of people, uh, and seduced a bunch of people within a matter, because that's a seducing card, or something that was said was surprising, or somebody's in a ruckus because something was fishy, or something happened uh, within some type of a situation where unconditional love is, or there is children or, and uh, um, teenagers around something that's caused some type of a strife within a family matter. The, uh, family matter. There is soulmates. So I'm really having a hard time speaking with you with you all. If you're new, sometimes I feel the energy that way. Um, I don't understand why Yoga works through me that way, but sometimes the energy flow is really something else and uh, he just allows me to experience it because this, apparently there's a bunch of people like this. Because something's been fishy in somebody's cup or surprising that came up or somebody really did get seduced. And there's a lot of cups here in this reading. And something would be real steamy then uh, within this. So third parties outside, competition and stuff like that. Show me this king of cups. Actually, what's the message about that's got somebody up in a freaking ruckus? What is this? What is this? can be confusing message that was surprising what is this uh, page of cups please we just come in for the truth to come to the surface well there is a lot of people trying to block something in a war because of the truth the truth is out I just heard you always say the truth is out and, and regardless what the crap's going on uh, you ain't gonna be able to block it you can't block the truth sorry there's a judgment being put on something that's been filthy Okay, yeah, well, there's the, <laughs> there's the emperor, so there is war going on, and remember, we did see the emperor and the empress uh, coming out for the next couple of days, and Jehovah says, I'm going to get and fight for you, just believe, and Jehovah don't lose, and so for every upright uh, emperor that's going to take it and win it because of the truth, uh, all the nasty ones, are they'll be put out, because Jehovah says, this is my earth, and uh He's going to have the truth. The truth sets somebody free, but somebody don't want that. And somebody said, look, I want to forgive something or something was surprising. And it got other people up in some type of situation. Because we do know that there's legal matters around some stupidness. And somebody also did something with legal people and did some stupid for access and crappy, nasty stuff. Because of their own filthy, stupid, whatever fishy behavior was in the matter. For some people, it was a uh, pregnancy. Or just the truth of something caused somebody else to get up here in a war um, or cause some type of a game or competition. But there is a father figure, a boss is here, corporate America is here, um, World War Three is here, uh, whatever this is. What is the hermit here for? The past, children. Um... So the courthouse is here. Again, we got legal matters. This is your parents, a blast from the past. Your ex could be here. Um, death situation. We did see death situations going on for some people. And some people just trying to go with them because there is uh, third parties and um, 
resting after a broken heart. This is a meditation card. Somebody in nostalgia then really big. If that's all that it is for some people. It's about returning. How to return. Analyzing how to return. And other people I guess don't like that. Or I mean, this is this is your soulmates. Why wouldn't your soulmates want you to return unless there was something around some situation um, that I guess some type of legal matters are here. The float trip is it? Well, we know about it. Well, what are you going to do? Be an idiot all your life and think you can run from the freaking truth? Huh? You don't think that you have to pay for something, but you can get up in your courts of law and put a judgment on other people do the same thing, and you're okay? I don't think so. I don't think so. Somebody's children died, um, or somebody's parent did, or whatever the death was for some people, energetically, physically, emotionally, spiritually, whatever the truth is about the childbirth or the fishy behavior or the sexual stupidness. Um, that you either gonna forgive yourself, look in the mirror, and forgive others, or you're just gonna burn in this stupidness, and you you're just freaks at this point, people. You're just freaks if that's how you want to live your life. Um, it's craziness. Show me the past. Show me the past. Show me the past, your holy. This is a forgiveness. This is a positive thing to heal something that got real filthy. And somebody's deciding to do that to lay all them wands down to do it, then that's great. Then heal it. Be celebrated that you came to the truth. You'll be honored that way. So intimate relationships, decisions to return, really going back in because uh, somebody's needing to analyze something. There's obviously, we didn't know that somebody was going to go to jail because Jehovah stated so. Somebody was in fetters and this is a prison card as well. This has been a confusion. This is, uh, this is confusion. I've got a bunch of people just up in a ruckus about something that's taking place and there's stormy waters here. Uh, about an intimate relationship with somebody from your past or your ex started some crap and uh, whatever the decision was, something's very wavy here. Backwards organization is here as well. Show me this King of Cups. Somebody could have been investigating the other party for all we know. I don't know your story entirely. There's a lot of money around. Some, well, and a commitment. Inheritances, jail. Somebody is in their mind about it. Because there's a lot of it here, okay? There is jail for somebody, okay? We got tower-like energy, 88 is here. That That's, you know, that can be a disaster. Obviously, for some people, it is. this is a freaking disaster. It's a disgrace, people. So we've seen the four cups several times. There's a lot of water here. Things being put up in the cloud, and by God, I'm pouting because I got found out about third-party stuff and things I do on the internet and by God I'm mad about it by God I thought I could get away with being a creep you can't we won't let you we just won't let you we don't want creeps unconditional love this is unconditional love in the upright but apparently some people don't have it there's a demon manure here well this also came out in the um next few days in the cardinal fix immutable sign i love Jehovah because he out of all these cards if he says something for the next couple days he'll allow my hand to find it to come out to to just confirm it again and again in what he said and so or you're doing somebody who lives on a farm we got livestock here we got a, a dung pit here um some type of droppings are here something's filthy this is the you know something filthy we had the laundromat come out for the next couple days this is the stake in the basket it represents something dirty um and so we've got you know the word dmn a demon manure they're dumb there's something filthy out here and that's why people act like this well don't know what to say a feed store is here so we do have livestock so you don't with, maybe you, uh, we got business here something about a feed store is here whatever that is the prime minister is here in this reading, okay. Well, the prime minister is here, okay. Thus saith Jehovah, World War Three, prepare. Well, he already gave us that word again. We just seen the emperor, he already gave us the word war as well. And it's going to be that way because we've got to get it, fight these things. We have to, we have to do it by way of the spirit. Uh, yet they are playing out within people in this realm, and so we're told to judge that stuff. 
We are. And if people sold their soul off to hell and want to act stupid because of some type of stupidness took place uh, within and without certain organizations, I guess it is what it is. We get up, we fight, we shake them out of the earth, their disgrace, whatever this situation is. is. You always not shut up until, uh, until something's done with it. There's a record, something about uh, a remembrance of something. There's a documentation here of something. Well, we had something that was rolled up and sealed um, by a signet ring the other day that came out. Somebody said, did you really think that you were going to get away with it? Well, some people really did. They, they really did, yes. The, the, their answer would have to be, yes, I did think I was going to get away with the murder. Yes, I did think that I was going to get away with stealing somebody's work and calling it my own. Yes, I did think so. Because some people are in, in it so bad. They're demons at this point. Uh, Jehovah says that uh, you will see the other side of something today. Well, that's positive. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Jehovah. We just declare and decree it. Uh, judgment for bestiality. We know that we're living in the time of um, the beast. Okay, if somebody had sex with a cow uh, that lives on a farm, and somebody's seen them do something to a freaking animal, then that's nasty. I guess Jehovah is calling somebody a nasty uh, dropping demon of manure and whatever the crap is taking place here, you're always putting a judgment on something. So you're going to see the other side of something or someone within whatever's taking place. All right. A square-shaped object. That's nasty. Um, we got terror here. This is like working water. Well, somebody is in terror. They're in their freaking mind. Well, they lost their mind. When you cross that line, that's an abomination. We've got rebellion here. The X can go back to a rebellion energy. That's gross. There is some type of an accountability that is out here. Well, again, did you really think you're going to get away with something? There's a butler or a maid that is also here. Obviously, not everybody's dealing with the same stuff. Uh, somebody says, I release you. Well, the people do need to be released. And some people have been bound up here by disgraceful people that are on the side of stupid bestiality crap. And you got people fighting with other people. And thinking that's okay, and it ain't okay, people. It ain't just it ain't okay. It's disgusting. Okay, it's just disgusting. The X. This is the rebellion again. It's here. There's two X's involved in something. I'm not sure, but this goes back to solitude. And it's the letter N, this one in the runes. It's necessity. Somebody did throw somebody out, put them out in their necessities, and then did some stupidness and broke into their house and killed and murdered and did some stupid because they're crazy and possibly because they either were forced to do something with the beast and overindulging stupidness or, or they did it on purpose because they were freaking crazy in the freaking head or they got caught and then went crazy after doing the nasty. I don't know. I don't know your story, but something's out here and you know that you hope it don't lie on my channel and we're just right now and Jehovah says don't you even know in the New Testament that, that you'll even judge demons and angels yes you know we're we're judging these angels these fallen ones and they're gross and, and they're nothing but demon manure droppings in the earth and they even get out okay uh, it's, it's disgusting this is a rebellion and Jehovah hates haughtiness and that's what that crap is and somebody put somebody up in a corner and they did some stupidness to somebody and that's not okay and no, they did not get away with it. Okay, they just did it. There's been a lot of agitation here. That's agitation. Showing it right here. Showing it right here. Somebody's fishy here. Some stupidness that they've done. And it's not okay. What else you want to bring out here? Fortune. Yeah, there is a lot of fortune for some of y'all that ain't dealing with that other nastiness. There's a bit, there is a baby here, and it's also a freshness. This baby card represents something new. There is something new here. Prison. Yes, there is going to be prison. We do know that somebody does, they need to just, they just need to go away now. They, they just, they've caused nothing but a stupid, okay? The whole group of them did, uh, whether some people did the act or not, and they know somebody did, and just because they're in my family, well, I'm going to protect that. Well, you're just as gross. You're just as gross because somebody's an abominable 
it's nasty out here within something. We had the we had the little sweetheart. I'll just text you. I'll just mess with your little phone. I'll just text you. And uh, somebody's done some stupid with law enforcement, in which we know. And and you know we want good law enforcement. And Jehovah is going to bring good law enforcement in, in uh, the negative one's face. Jehovah is weeding out people and showing you who's who, at, right up in in your face who's who. Okay. And so we got somebody's friend here. We got some something with flowers. She's got a big bunch of flowers in her hands. Uh, somebody's friend was involved in something because I actually think that um, something about a friend literally in wording did come out in a reading that I did yesterday and uh, I stated what well, were they friends? Or some, some, something happened here where friendship either fell apart or they went together and did some stupid and got other people up in here to do some nasty because of their nastiness. Okay, yeah, Mental problems. It's, yes, mental problems are here. It's showing it right there. It is. There's messages and travel here. There's the law. That's a law card as well. And the knight in shining armor and creativity and stuff like that. A little lover and messages. And a favorable testimony is here as well. Yeah, there's a lot of people showing up here. And that is a little spy. So we have the law and then travel and fortune is here as well. And authority. And that's the first letter of Jehovah's name. And he's turning something. And there's some type of real karmic activity out here. And this is the truth. And it'll go the truth in any way that it needs to turn. Even if somebody's really exaggerated or stretched out in some type of situation, it's going to turn in the truth whether uh, people like it or not. You're always going to have his way. He's the one that's uh, directing the will. So, anyway, this will come out. Until next time, Shalom.